Do you talk about 2020? 20? Definitely roller coaster. Tough, uh, reflective, and also rewarding. We all have learned how to reinvent ourselves in many different ways. I think I've learned to value the people closest to me. Jordan, obviously, right next to me. We've got through all this together and 100% of the time we've been together, so I value that. I would go for a hug, like uh, how important could be something so simple as a hug. It taught me to count my blessings and have gratitude every day. The Project Dawn this year will launch a new architectural movement the Zoom style. So what does it mean? I think it means that we need to work together. We need to work in groups and we need to learn how to collaborate. This is the 2021 Createra Design Awards. Please welcome CDA founders Yuri and Meredith Xavier. Welcome to the 2021 Creature Design Awards, a global celebration of architecture, design, and creative journalism. The CDA were founded to uphold excellence in the design industry, preserve design integrity, and inspire future generations. Our mission is to bring creatives together from every corner of the globe and celebrate their vision, their work, and their contribution to design. This year, our CDA members voted on hundreds of submissions from 38 countries. Within those submissions were exceptional works in architecture, interior design, product design, and journalism. The top eight in each category were announced as CDA selects. After a second round of voting, our members have chosen their top three, this year's nominees. Congratulations to everyone who was selected. Your work has inspired so many. In addition to announcing the winners in each category, we will be presenting the Andre Putman Lifetime Achievement Award to iconic American architect, Robert A.M. Stern. We are honored to celebrate his exceptional career and achievements with messages from several special guests. I would like to thank our partners, Marsotto Edition, Windfall Contemporary Crystal Lighting, and Gagano. Your commitment to this industry is like no other. And most of all, I want to thank all of the 189 CDA members that made this presentation possible. And without further ado, let's begin. Every now and then, a designer will release a new collection that shakes us and the industry. For product designers, it's not easy creating designs that take inspiration from both old and new techniques, but they do it with ease. The best new collection stands out from the crowd. It strays away from trendy tendencies and surprises us. Here are the nominees for best new collection. From Australia, the exquisite corpse collection by Adam and Arthur. The inspiration of our collection was drawn from the French parlor game of Cadavreski. Our main challenge in the making of this collation was to create something never seen before and bring a sense of wonder and joy to the viewer. From Italy, the Amazonas collection by Morfosi. The idea with Morfosi was to combine marble with another material. Wicker was the choice because it's really different from marble, it's almost antithetical. The challenge was not only joining these two materials, but stitching them together, creating a kind of structural and aesthetic symbiosis. Wicker grows supporting and incorporating the stone. From the Netherlands, the Sand in Motion collection by Rev Roshan. Sand in Motion is a collection of sculptural 3D printed objects made out of sand and inspired by the beauty of nature. And inspired by the freedom of, of sand and the way that it plays with the wind, we've tried to capture this beauty in solid objects for the home um, and bringing nature into the home in an abstract way. The Creator Design Award goes to the Exquisite Corpse Collection by Adam and Arthur. This is Adam and Arthur's first nomination and win. Hello from Australia. 
on behalf of Arthur and myself from Adam and Arthur, we are absolutely thrilled to receive this award. Um, we're already very humbled to be shortlisted given the calibre of the other artists and the studios and their amazing work. Um, we'd like to say a special thanks, obviously, to the award. We really see this um, as a very significant, prestigious award. And, of course, to the judges. And a very special thanks to our gallery, Talano Galleries in Melbourne. Uh, we have a really exciting year for 2021 in which we're working on a number of pieces. Uh, so once again, we'd just really like to say thank you so much. The craft of photography helps share designers' vision with the world. It is through the right lighting, composition, and attention to details that a great photographer will tell us a story and evoke emotion. Here are the nominees for the best project photography. From Italy, Francesco Dolfo with Palazzo Bentivoglio. The challenge of this shooting was uh, also really uh, tough in a way because um, the structure of the building is uh, really ancient, come from the 16th century. But uh, inside there is a lot of uh, modern art pieces, uh, site-specific building. So my goal uh, as a photographer was uh, try to uh, make some picture that uh, really represent this balance and this uh, harmony of uh, art. From Mexico, Rafael Gamo with Mar Tireno. I enjoy a lot photographing Frida Escobedo's projects since they have a very specific and very interesting and special tectonic. The lattices and patterns from Mar Tireno were a wonderful canvas for creating a narrative not only of the building's physical presence, but also of its everyday life. From the United Kingdom, Roger Davis with John Lautner, Garcia House. I was originally contacted via Instagram to see if I might be interested in photographing the house, and of course I jumped at the chance. The house was designed by architect John Lautner in 1962 for the Garcias. The Garcias were very different, Mr Garcia a composer liked peace and quiet, while Mrs Garcia liked to have parties for a hundred or more. So the house is divided in two, and because of the steep terrain it made it hard to photograph but we found ways around it. The Curatera Design Award goes to Roger Davis with John Lautner, Garcia House. This is Roger Davis' second nomination and first CDA award. Well, I guess if we're watching this, uh, it means I won and I'm so flattered to even have been nominated. So thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you to the CDA for putting together such an amazing program bringing people together from all over the world. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm just, I'm just here in my office, but um, congratulations to all the other nominees. Your work is phenomenal. Um, thank you to John McElwee for allowing me to photograph your beautiful home. Uh, thank you to Vanetta, my agent, who makes my life so easy. And thank you mostly to my beautiful wife, Deanna, uh, and son Carlo for putting up with me. Um, thank you everyone and uh, cheers. Good night. It is the creative journalists who make sure the stories of makers, artisans, architects, and designers are told. This year, we introduced the Excellence in Creative Journalism category to celebrate their achievements and contribution to the global design community. Here are the nominees for Excellence in Creative Journalism. Chicago Architecture Biennial tackles land rights, social justice, and more. Written by Aline Kewen for CNN Style. Tackling social, political, and environmental concerns from Native American land rights to gentrification and the role of architecture in memorializing gun violence, this year's participants often reveal uncomfortable truths beneath the gleam of the city's handsome facades. For this piece, I visited and reported on the 2019 Chicago Architecture Biennial, which took on a host of overlooked topics related to housing, social justice, land rights, and the environment. This was a very different type of architecture biennial in many ways, and one that refreshingly tackled systemic issues head on. The challenges and opportunities of writing for a global general audience such as CNN's was a huge privilege, and one that was ideal for surfacing large-scale issues that pertain to society at large. The Father of Den Saikwa, written by Charlie Lee Potter for Serial Magazine. 
Visualize an 88-year-old man who's endured poverty, war, persecution, illness, hunger, and neglect, and you won't see the artist Park Sobo. In his perky Trollby hat and sharp leather jacket, wreathed in smiles, he looks decades younger than he is. The idea to write about artist Park Seo Bo and the art movement, Danse Kwa, came from the inspirational editor of Serial, Rosa Park, and I saw the challenge in three parts, to summon the radiant joyousness of this 88-year-old artist, to conjure the mental rigor and sheer physical grit that he has, and also to make visceral an art movement which is deeply intellectual at its core. And I found a way in sideways, by staring endlessly at his vast enigmatic paintings paintings and by repeatedly watching him laugh. It was my realisation that his joy is an aspect of his intensity rather than frivolity, which was the key to my piece. He's an artist who, as he told me, strives to tip away his excess self, to rid his work of ego, not to produce an empty mind, but a richer and more powerful one. Anish Kapoor's illusory practice Written by Ollie Horn for Serial Magazine. Stepping through the warehouse doors of Anish Kapoor studio in Camberwell, London, I am greeted by what could be the scene of a massacre. Huge wooden trays with spouts protruding from their sides support chaotic compositions of globby red wax. And I was very lucky to be invited by Anish Kapoor's press team to visit his studio in London, interview him and have a tour around the studio experiencing the art that he has been making recently. And it was a phenomenal day. I had an amazing time. It was such a privilege to listen to Anish Kapoor speak about his own work and experience it so close up in the place it was made. And I wanted to write something that was a really honest portrayal of that day's experience and take the reader along with me to experience the art, some of which hasn't yet been shown to the public. So I hope you all enjoyed reading it. And the first Creator Design Awards for Excellence in Creative Journalism goes to Aline Kewan. Thank you so much for the honor. I'm really humbled to be considered alongside such stellar nominees. I'd like to thank editors Fiona Sinclair Scott and Steffi Chung for the opportunity to bring this story to CNN style to curators Yosomu Imolu, Sipaki Anjiyama, and Paula Tavares for bringing to light the many hard truths that ought to be examined and discussed in an architectural biennial today, and to the many designers whose works challenge me to rethink the basis of what we do and how we see the world. Thank you also to the CDA Selection Committee, to my partner Josh for dealing with my late night writing habits, and to all design journalists out there who continue to work through this time of global hardship and uncertainty. It's my belief that what you cover and give your attention to is nearly as important as what you write about it. And it was my absolute privilege to report on this story. Here's to making our communities, cities, and collective futures brighter and more equitable. Cheers. Well, design, a process of collaboration can be a powerful one. It is the fusion of several creative minds that often results in the greatest work. The best design collaboration goes to a partnership that was able to bring together ingenious ideas into one innovative space. Here are the nominees for the best design collaboration. From the United States, Workshop APD for Arterios Collection. The ideas for our collection with Arterios came from really the idea of making, how we could um, manipulate materials working with a series of interesting makers from around the world to develop our unique products. From France, Crystal Clear Collection by Virgil Abloh and Baccarat. The Crystal Clear Collection by Virgil Abloh was unveiled in Paris at Maison Baccarat in the presence of the artist in February 2020. A piece of art, a mix of heritage and modernity, of elegance and industrial coats, realized that the manufacturer of Baccarat by the artisans of Baccarat, the collection is made of a lighting unit, a center table unit, and of glasses. From Lebanon, Sundays by Paula Sark for Cavrat Fabrique. Myself and other designers from around the world were approached by Quadrat and offered a carte blanche to create whatever we wanted with their knitted fabrics that they had acquired from Fabrique. 
I uh, thought that it was a good opportunity for me not only to experiment with a new material, but also to share with the rest of the world a piece of my home, Lebanon. And the Curator Design Award goes to The Crystal Clear Collection by Virgil Abloh for Baccarat. Here is a statement from Jim Shrave, CEO of Baccarat North America. Working with Virgil has been an amazing experience for our artisans at Baccarat. From the first meeting, Virgil had crystal clear in mind and could imagine how these geometrical shapes would elegantly dance together, suspended from a ceiling and sitting on a table. Our people in the Baccarat's atelier, without any hesitation, interpreted his vision and sketches relentlessly. Their unique skills and passion for perfection resulted in this amazing piece of art. In the US, the limited edition glass was one of Baccarat's top sellers in 2020. The modern, chic glass continues to attract new customers to the brand. It is truly a work of art. What it means to me to be a professional creative in today's world means a whole lot of hustle. It means building community and connecting people around art and design. It means continuing to discover myself and what it means to be an artist and try to figure out how to make some money along the way. An editor of information, a curator of what's important and finding beauty. We're inundated with options and access, which isn't necessarily great. Finding things that make sense and bring beauty. But I think that as creatives, this is currently a time where we have to be very curious about what the future holds for us and how we are going to define the future. I think it's an incredible time to be a creative in a world of borderless opportunities where we're able to collaborate and share our ideas in ways that we've never been able to do so before. In a continued effort to stay connected with our community, the Creature Design Association launched the Creature Live series. With over 90 episodes recorded, we have made it our mission to keep the dialogue going and connect in a deeper, more meaningful way. Due to the success of a Creatures Live, we'll be continuing the series into 2021, alongside more episodes of the Creature Forum and Weekly Dispatch. We'll also be announcing several new content series in the upcoming months. The best product design category focuses on innovation, technique, and creative production. The following designs give us a glimpse into the future of craft and what it means today. Here are the nominees for best product design. From Sweden, Puffy Lounge Chair by Hem and Faye Too Good. The Puffy Chair designed by Faye Too Good for Hem is a simple construction. It's a Bauhaus inspired steel frame and then it's a duvet on top that's draped. The biggest challenge in developing the puffy chair was to get the duvet right. Um, since the construction is simple, we needed the duvet to be both really rigid and also look really soft. Um, and we solved that by having different types of channels of upholstery sewn into the chair. And the result looks really inviting. From Lebanon. Reconciled Fragments Coffee Table by T. Saki. A series of coffee tables reconciled fragments is inspired by collecting the decomposed materials from local factories and the waste. In this case, um, it was forced green marble and brass powder and recomposing them into a whole. It's basically a way for us to express that whatever is broken can be rebuilt. This collection is very important to us because we want to highlight the talent of Lebanese artisans and we want to encourage the local um, craftsmanship in the country, especially in those difficult times. From Italy, Butterfly Console by Hans Beer. The uh, inspiration comes uh, from the organic architecture of uh, Oscar Niemeyer in Brasilia. Um, I've been there. And another inspiration, uh, definitely another reference would be Sergio Musmeci and uh, his incredible organic shaped bridges in the south of Italy. And the Creator Design Award goes to Reconciled Fragments Coffee Table by T. Saki. 
We want to thank Creator Design Awards um, for their professionalism, for being able to showcase our work, but especially for their dedication in creating such a platform to promote and bring together a wonderful community of great talents and also for their constant support. We're very happy to be part of it and thank you. The following hospitality and commercial projects feature exclusive places that have been uniquely designed to accommodate a multitude of diverse visitors. These places amplify the talent it takes to create a unique space that evokes a sense of wonder and escape. Here are the nominees for the best hospitality and commercial project. From the United States, Isla Golf Academy, designed by Oppenheim Architecture. Uh, the project came about by visiting the site and studying the surrounding mountains and sand dunes and basically determining that why can we not inhabit a sand dune and turn the sand on the site uh, into architecture and structure. And uh, it sounds like a simple idea, but it took quite a bit of effort uh, to, to make that happen. From the United States and Japan, Park Hyatt Kyoto, designed by Tony Chi Studio and Takanaka Corporation. The Park Hyatt Kyoto was conceived of as an elegant mountain house in the famous Higashiyama district of the old capital. Car traffic disappears here, and the pedestrian streets are rich with historical architecture and gardens that have been shaped over generations. Higashiyama is a place of another time. The challenge was to create a modern mountain house situated seamlessly within the old and new worlds that come together here, and which is the mystery of this ancient imperial city. We wanted to create an architecture of refinement and stillness, at one with nature and connected to all of time. From Iran, Kohan Serum Central Office Building, designed by Huba Design Group. Preserving the existing concrete structure, the multifunctional complex was designed including a showroom and the sales office. The boundary between the solid walls and windows is faded by merging the solid brick with pieces of glass. Therefore, the brick glass module forms both walls and windows of the building. The Grutter Design Award goes to Isla Golf Academy, designed by Oppenheim Architecture. Hi, this is Chad Oppenheim from Oppenheim Architecture and Design. What an incredible honor to win this award. Uh, we'd like to thank our clients, Serene Mazri, as well as the project director, Beat Hussler, Rasem Kamal, as well as Alex Lozano, uh, and many others who helped make this dream a reality. Thank you so much, and we really appreciate you thinking of this project. The process of designing a private residence is often deeply personal. It is the fusion of the designer's vision with their client's personal taste. And what results is a home. Here are the nominees for Best Residential Project. From Brazil, House on the Sand, designed by Studio MK27. First thought came from the traditional villages in Bahia, in the northeast of Brazil. The second movement was to create shades over the entire villa and ended up being suspended by a wooden structure, bringing a coconut water in a hammock under a shade is everything in this region. And voila, the house on the sand. From Greece, Villa Mandra by K Studio. Villa Mandra is a house for a young family located on the southwestern coast of Mykonos Island in Greece. The building sits on a 4,000 square meter plot that slopes towards the view of the Aegean archipelago overlooking the ancient island of Vilos. Its design is rooted in the island's folk architecture and informed by the owner's contemporary life. Made mostly from the rock found on site during excavations, the building features a series of characteristic dry stone walls, mandres, that surround the two main white volumes. From France, wooden villa, designed by Nicolas Dehaan Architects. The wooden villa design, uh, main inspiration is John Lautner uh, architecture. 
for us, John Lutner is the inventor uh, of, uh, of the cool in architecture. It's something, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of mixed between uh, spirit of the time, materials, and engineering. And um, then the wood and villa design try to, to mix uh, engineering, materials, and the spirit of our time. And the Creator Design Award goes to House on the Sand designed by Studio MK27. This is the first award for Brazil and Studio MK27. I'm happy to be here virtually and to thank you for the care and affection of the Criater Design Award. I would also like to thank the Studio MK27 team, Diana Radomisler, Marcio Tanaka, Pedro Ribeiro, and the client who was a co-author of this project, Serge Kaffinger. The Andre Putman Lifetime Achievement Award was founded to honor a creative talent that personifies a dedication and mastery to their craft. A craft Ms. Putman was celebrated for throughout her extraordinary life. We are honored to present the 2021 Andre Putman Lifetime Achievement Award to iconic American architect, Robert A.M. Stern. Bob Stern. Bob Stern is an enormously accomplished architect, and I feel I should say that twice. Bob Stern is an enormously accomplished architect. I think Bob Stern is an extraordinary figure in the world of architecture. His attention to detail is always resulted in buildings that are so unique and are incredibly enjoyable to be in and be around. And uh, having studied his work in university and Admiring his work via proximity in New York uh, over many years, I respected him immensely. What he means to me is someone who's been understanding the human emotion of everybody when they come to buildings. His culture is quite something because I can think of no person who has sustained a 300 person office with the kind of integrity that he has and created a culture that's so consistent with this full range of partners. You know, first his time as an educator at the Yale School of Architecture and the impact he had passing on his talents to the architects to come. I remember when we graduated, uh, he told us uh, from, from that day we should uh, um, forget what we have heard in school and uh, trying to be ourselves. I think that's the, the, the motto or, or uh, the, the important uh, message I get uh, get from him. There is no one who designs a building quite the way Bob does and while there are many imitators there are many more admirers. But it feels like Bob was really tuning in to the emotion of being on a college campus or the emotion of somebody thinking where they might want to live. You truly changed the landscape of our city. Your legacy will live on forever and you forever continue to inspire. And for those of us who are true lovers of classical architecture and all things magical, we continue to look up to you. You continue to inspire us and we are forever grateful. Congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award. Well deserved and thank you for your craft. It was like a masterclass. I learned a lot and huge admiration. Extraordinary person. Thank you very much and uh, congratulations. Congratulations for this prize. Very well deserved because you have been crucial to boost Yale, one of the most important universities in the world, and because you have become one of the most important ambassadors for the art of architecture. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to Mr. Stern. So well deserved, a true master. Thank you, Robert, not only for your writings, your teachings, your culture, but thank you for your buildings. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the recipient of the 2021 Andre Putman Lifetime Achievement Award, Mr. Robert A.M. Stern. I thank the Creator Design Awards for recognizing me with the Andre Putman Award. Andre Putman was a towering figure in design, and this award, a celebration of her life, brings continuity um, and visibility to her ideas. The notion that a solitary architect 
works alone by private strokes of genius is in my view a foolish one. In any case, it's not how I operate. And the achievements of my professional practice are the achievements of a large team of partners and colleagues, many of whom have been working with me for decades. As well, our work would not be possible without our clients, who over the years have entrusted us with their dreams and ambitions. I see this honor also as an affirmation of the principles that guide our work. Fundamentally, I see architecture as a narrative art. I believe that buildings should speak in a language understood by the public at large. In my view, architecture, as opposed to ordinary building, is an art of representation, an art of communication. Just as a writer does not invent a new language to convey an idea or to tell a story, but rather works within an existing vocabulary and follows established syntax to express new thoughts in a way that can be understood by all, the same should be the case for architects. And this principle has guided my work over 50 years of practice. The dictum form follows function should, in my view, go beyond the mere expression of structural integrity and a building's purpose to convey a building's role in its physical and cultural context. Over the decades in my professional practice and in my teaching and in my writing, I have strived to keep this belief at the forefront of architectural discourse. The Putman Award is for me a celebration of ingenuity with familiar ideas. Architecture, like any art, is not born anew each time a designer puts pencil to paper. For this reason, I advocate research to understand the best exemplars the past has to offer. An architect cannot proceed without climbing on the shoulders of what went before. Form follows form. Architects must look forward to the future, but we cannot go forward without knowing where we came from. Again, I want to express my gratitude for this recognition. Thank you. 2021, we're all expecting so much from you. That being said, I do hope that we look back at last year and whatever we're going to do in the future, uh, we do it with humility and that we do it with a sense of responsibility and that we slow down a little bit and do whatever is right for the future of our planet. My hope for the new year, resume, rejuvenate and rejoice. Paciencia. Fé, esperança e muita criatividade. And 2021 is just a mark, but that mark, I suppose, represents hope. I think it's going to be exciting. There's going to be so much creativity coming out of this quarantine for everyone. Um, there's going to be new collaborations and ways of working. Responsibility, commitment, and creativity. Some things never change. You know, that's, for me, ultimately the most exciting thing is when I'm creating new work. So that's what my hopes are for the, the coming year. 2021. Well, there's so much about this year that we can't control that I'm going to concentrate on the stuff that we can. And it's what I always tell my children. Creativity. There's something so cheering, so soothing about making something, anything, that it only exists because we've gone out of our way to make it. It could be banana bread, it could be an etching, it could be a crocheted rug. It could even be what the novelist Willa Cather used to say, the best, most enjoyable hot bath ever. So that's my method for 2021, make stuff. Thank you all for joining us and congratulations to all of the nominees and winners. And thank you again to our partners, and all of the CDA members that are a part and believe in this community. We have a very exciting year ahead of us at the CDAs.
starting with the announcement of our newest members in spring, we're dedicated to creating meaningful experiences for our members and design community with every facet of our work. We look forward to sharing more information with you in upcoming months. Until then, stay safe and keep creating. This program was created in partnership with Gaganau, Marsoto Edizioni, Windfall Contemporary Crystal Lighting, and the entire global creative community. The Creator Design Awards is produced and organized by the Creator Design Association alongside the Ligne Group. To find out more about our organization and Creator Design Awards original content, visit creatordesignawards.com and follow us on social media at creator underscore design underscore awards.